I want to show you a calibration um, using the phase array on my Olympus OmniScan SX machine. And um, I'm going to calibrate using this block here. <clears throat> or standardize or calibrate my machine. It's a PAX block, 1018 steel, and it stands for Phase Array uh, uh, Calibration Standard. So uh, what I'm going to use is uh, the 1 and the 2 inch radius on this block. So to get started, um, go to Part on your wizard, hit Start, and I'm going to uh, just make up, I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to test the plate. It's 0.6 inches thick, mild steel, plate, no weld, finish. So that describes my part. Next, I want to do my setup. Start. Phase array group. My application, um, it says weld, corrosion, composite, stacked A scans. I'm going to do other because I'm just uh, calibrating for a uh, 0.6 thick uh, piece of steel. Next, it selects the probe because it's smart. And then I had to uh, identify my wedge using the, the, the drop down menu. Next, I'm going to do a sectorial scan. My wave type is going to be a shear wave. And it's 16 elements. I'm only going to use 16 of my 32 elements. Next. I'm going to start with the first element. 40 degrees is my minimum angle. Maximum 70 degrees. And I'm going to uh, step it uh, one degree at a time. Next. Unfocused. And there's no offset because I'm not using a weld. So I don't have to offset. Let's do a generate. So we'll generate the focal law. Now, let's get to the calibration. Put some coupling on there, calibrate, and I'm going to do ultrasound. I'm going to do velocity, start. Echo type is going to be a radius. So I'm using my 1 and my 2 inch radius. Radius 1. Telling the machine, my first radius is going to be one inch. Second radius is going to be two inches. Right here. So let's pop this guy on there. Take a look at it. Right now I'm sitting at 40 degrees. Got quite a bit of a gain there. Well, let's do next. I'm sitting at my 40 degree angle. My range is uh, three inches. Next. Now it wants me to um, tell it says set gate A on radius one. So my gate is set on radius one. Um, let me take some gain out because I'm blasting off the screen. I want to take it to about 80% full screen height. And there we are. Um, sitting at right there. We're peaking right about 80% full screen height. So, um, in my threshold is set it at uh, 10 to 10% uh, full screen height. Let's get this position. So, got position one now. It wants me to set gate A on radius two. So, let's move the start of my uh, gate, move it over here, capture radius two, boom. And now, um, let me take down the gain. Because I want to also uh, look at radius 2 at about 8% full screen height. And there it is. And let me get the position. And accept. So it just, uh, it, it just uh, calibrated my velocity. Next, let's calibrate our uh, wedge delay. Because... 40 to 70 degrees, uh, there's no fixed beam index point. It moves on here, so we have to calculate the wedge delay for every angle. 
So I'm going to use, uh, this is 0 0.6, yes, 0 0.6 inch deep hole. I'm going to use that side drill hole to uh, complete my wedge delay. So, we want to do wedge delay, apply it to all angles, start. The depth of that hole is going to be 0.6 inches right there. Next, we want to include up to the 70 degree angle. Next, let's move the start of our gate. Here we go. I'm going to capture that. And let's uh, increase our gain a little bit to get that up around 80% full screen height. And again, this is our um, our 40 degree angle. And let's do next. Now what it did, it has this window right here. And we're going to pull back and forth. It's going to apply that wedge delay to all angles. Moving back and forth, moving that hole from 40 to 70 degrees. Let's do a cal let's do a set. Calibrate. First we want to calibrate it. Calibrate the wedge delay and let's do an accept on that. So now we've uh calibrated our wedge delay. Last is a three-point calibration. Let's calibrate our sensitivity. And what that will do is that will give us basically 80% full screen height for all angles. Right now I'm sitting at 40 degree. 40 degree angle, about 80% full screen height. We want to apply this sensitivity to all angles. So Press the start, and you can see 80%. There's our window. Now I want to pull back. We want to try to keep it everything inside that window. Now, as you can see, as we pull back in the higher angles, how that signal attenuates. Let's look at that again. And let's do next. You'll include up to the 70 degree angle. Next. Next, calibrate. Let's accept. So what we have here, let me move my angle from 70 degrees down to 40 degrees. So let's run up, see my 40 degree angle? Amplitude's about 80%. Now let's run that angle up to 70 degrees pull back and at 70 degrees I'm seeing an 80% full screen height so for all angles uh, it takes in, in account the attenuation and holds our signal at about 80% full screen height.